What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Casual from the Casual.co and welcome to the very first official episode of the Casual Review where we take a look at some of the pickups that I have bought here in Tokyo. Now, you caught me in rare form today. Yes, I am wearing vape, which is really, really rare because I don't wear vape, but if you know that I'm wearing vape, you also know that today's review is going to be on shark hoodies. So I got four shark hoodies to show you, four different styles, four different colorways. So we're gonna have fun doing that. But not only that, we're gonna do a little bit of education on legit checks and also sizing. So I got some M's and I got some XL's and you're gonna see the contrast in between those two. So without further ado, let's get into the review and you know, the unboxing or whatever the heck you whippersnappers call it. Let's do it. All right, y'all, y'all excited? I'm excited, yo, check it out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unwrap this bad boy right here. This is the most simple version of the Shark hoodie. It definitely comes in all the colors available, all the normal colors available. That's red, black, and heather gray, sometimes navy. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and open this up. And because it's the most simple one, we're gonna give you the most simple legit check tip. And that is, have common sense. Now, common sense means that if you're looking at a seller, whether that be on eBay or some other crazy place, uh, you gotta check if they have every size and every color imaginable in multiple quantities and they're coming from Hong Kong, then it's probably a replica, okay? So have common sense. And from my experience, sense ain't so common. All right, y'all, so we got the second one, which is the Crazy Camo. Now, Crazy Camo is a special release. And as special releases go, we got a special legit check tip. And that tip is know your releases and colorways. So Crazy Camo is a colorway. We also got Space Camo. We also got Collaborations. We also got City Camo, which is glow in the dark. We also got Baby Milo collections. So know your colorways and know what comes out is very important. Know that the original camo is actually yellow or green with yellow being the more popular of the two. Crazy camo has the, you know, camo on the sleeve, on the left sleeve and on the pocket right here. It also still has the thing on the hood. Of course, we still have the WGM on the back. That's world gone mad, just in case you guys didn't know. Hopefully you did know that if you're a Bape fan. All right, so crazy camo. We're gonna be wearing this one in the size check, so you'll get to see this one as I put it on. And even though you're looking at this right now, you may be like, yo, man, that's not that fresh. Wait until I put it on. It's actually a lot better than what it looks. All right, so I already have the red guy opened up, and the reason why I have him opened up already because we know what it looks like when I take it out, but I really want to get to the legit check tip, and legit check tip number three is understanding cut and silhouette. A lot of you cats out there might not know that even though Bape is cut a little bit smaller as far as size is concerned, that's based on frame, but not based on the type of cut that they want. Now this is a more urban cut, this wide cut that you see right here. A lot of the time that you see on the replicas, you see a very slim cut, all right? So that's a clear indicator. We're looking at the sides right here, all right? That's a slim cut on the replicas, and that's what you have to look out for. Also on the sleeves, they do not get thinner. They actually get wide in the middle, and so you can see that in there as well. All right, last up, we have the big bad boy, the all camo. Just remember that all camos come out in green and in yellow. Rarely do they deviate from that. I'm just gonna go over the last legit check tip with this guy. We're gonna try him on later. He is an XL, but the last legit check tip is to understand protocol and understanding protocol is to understand what pictures that people give you and what you see and like maybe somebody's trying to sell it to you. And the very first thing that all you resellers and all you guys who are looking for one should do, you should always look up for the full silhouette of the hoodie. Um, you should also have pictures of the, of the, you know, of the hood. You should also have pictures of the back of the hood with the WGM, all right? And then on the inside, you should have the bathing ape tag right there and also the size label that's in there as well. But not just the size label, the back of the size label. All right, because that has another logo on it. I need to see that. All right, the next thing is you want to get the sleeve tag that is on the left sleeve. That's this guy right here. Once you get him, you want to get 
the back of his head. So once you get the back of his head, you know, oh, because a lot of replica make a lot of replica makers rather make this with both head, both faces. This should be the back of the head, like the big ape face T's. The last thing that you should be looking for in a legit check is the care, the care tags, which is on the inside. I'm gonna unzip this real quick. And that is these guys. Remember, most shark hoodies are made in Japan. All right, so China, Japan, Hong Kong, three different countries, all right? Completely different, all right? But what I'm looking for is that golden ticket, this guy right here, all right? That's the BAPE logo and the gold face, and under that, I need those words that say, nowhere LTD, all rights reserved. You might not be able to see it on the video, but that's what it says. All right, so we have the crazy camo in a medium size. Just so you guys know, the biggest jump for sizing for BAPE, especially for hoodies, is from L to XL, all right? So just keep that in mind. If you're wearing an L and then you go up to XL, it is a quite big jump. From M to L, it's not that big, but it's, you know, it's noticeable. So as you can see, this fits me perfectly at 5'7". The shoulders feel pretty good. It doesn't feel too tight right here. On the loose end with that out zip, without zipping it up, it feels really good. The only complaint I have is right at the hem. My shirt, which is a large, I don't typically wear a large t-shirt, I usually wear a medium, is going past the, the actual hoodie, which is something that I don't like unless I'm going for that look in which case I will use a way better shirt for layering than the shirt that I currently have on. But all in all, this looks pretty good. On me, you see you got the crazy camo on the left arm. You have nothing on the other one. You also have the, the pouches right here. So if you're wearing this on the open side, this doesn't look too bad if you're just going for medium. Now, if you're wearing it on the closed side, it's going to be a little tight. So let's go ahead and zip this up so you can see. So right around my chest area, you can see it gets kind of thin. Uh, it feels really slim on me right now. Uh, and this is with my shoulders. So if you have these shoulders and you want a more loose fit than this when it's zipped up, you're almost certainly gonna wanna go for a size up, all right? Cause this fits me like straight down. Like if I was going like more prep, if I was just like, yo, this is, this is how I'm gonna wear it. So that's it for this right here, all right? Also the hoodie doesn't have as much room when I zip it up. Still has pretty good room, but it's not going over my hat. It's not very well, so just remember that. Keep that in mind. All right, so if you want a looser fit, they also have the bottom zipper, but please don't use the bottom zipper to make your waist smaller. I'm just gonna make fun of you. Anyway, so yeah, that's what the crazy camo looks like on me. Uh, if I wanted a more urban slash hip hop fit, I would definitely size up to a large. Uh, and this, I would say this is for people who are same build as me and maybe, I don't know, maybe two to three inches taller than me. So maybe five, nine to five, 10, if, if you have a smaller frame. All right, so medium, that, that's what it feels like. All right, so check it out. All right, so next up is the XL. Now an XL is way too big for me, in my opinion, but some of you out there might like the fit. Uh, this is more of a really just urban fit on me, uh, but we're gonna just try it on. Having a little bit of wardrobe malfunction, it's okay though. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, this is a lot bigger, and that one complaint that I had with the medium, I do not have with the extra large, but there is a problem with the extra large, especially for people who are my size. Um, this right here. This automatically happens on my palms right here the sleeve is going way past the, the point in my arm that I really like. And also you can see how much room I have between my wrist and my hand. That's too much room for a guy like me, all right? So anytime I put my arms down, it's gonna have that effect and that's not cool. Little style note for you guys out there who are on you know, the shorter end, I'd say five, seven, or maybe even five, eight and shorter. Uh, Yo, you wear big clothes, you are going to look shorter, okay? Big clothes, ikoru, 
look shorter so then no girl's gonna talk to you you're just gonna really have a hard time all right so you ever have that time when people say you be like yo i'm five seven they'd be like nah dog you like five like three five four that, that's because you're wearing your clothes are too big stop wearing big clothes anyway this feels really big on me i don't like the bunch up right here you see this is too much room for me if i want to roll these sleeves up there's too much bunch up on the sleeve that's not cool that looks ugly um also you know, one thing that I do like is that the hood goes completely over my hat. So I do have this look going on, which is pretty good, but I think I can achieve this same look with a large if I wanted to go up a size. So I definitely wouldn't do this. As far as the XL is concerned, you can also look at my shoulder. Look at that seam right there. This is on the mid part of my shoulder. You want this a little bit up if you're my size. But if you're taller than me, I'd say around, I'd say 5'9 would be the threshold. 5'9 to maybe 6'2, 6'3, this is fine. And if you have a smaller frame, you could probably be like 6'4 and this would be fine because if you're taller, you're always going to have the problem with length. It doesn't even matter if it's Western sizing or Asian sizing. You're always going to have that problem. So, you know, unfortunately... That's just the circumstance you live in, tall guy. All right, stop being tall. Stop, you know, looking at the clouds and stuff, whatever. Anyway, so yeah, right here, too big for me. Let's go ahead and zip it up and show you what that looks like before I get out of here. Boom. So I don't like how this looks zipped up at all. It's not flattering at all. It just goes straight down and, you know, I feel like uh, it's very wintry to me. I don't really feel like Bape shark hoodie should be wintery. <laughs> it's a weird word. Uh, so as you can see, there's actually a lot of girth right here and it makes you look fatter. I don't like looking fat. So there's that. So even if you are a little bit on the heavy side, <laughs> I shouldn't say fat. Sorry guys, SJW guys out there. So if you're on the heavier side, this might be okay. And this is an XL. You see how much room I have here. So again, the XL to double XL is not that big of a jump. And you guys out there who think you might need a double XL, sometimes you it's okay to go to an XL because there's more sizes in that size range as far as quantity is concerned. Double XLs, there's not that many. So you could go down and be okay, all right? So that's it, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because it's a lot bigger than I expected. All right, so taking this off. And as always, guys, I'm gonna be doing these Hopefully every week you can see some new stuff that I'm bringing here right here on the casual review and always, you know, check out the other videos, the lookout brands that you may not know about. And on, of course, the state of Japan, where I keep you up to date on all the latest that's happening in Japan, every brand that I can think of. All right. We're revamping a lot of stuff on the site, so that's going to get a lot easier. Also, you can order a lot of these things that I get from TCEX from thecasual.co. There's more information on that. There's a video on that as well. So, you know, if you're here for the first time, please do what smart people do and akai button always stay kudasai masai. Push that red button and keep it casual. You know what it is. This is your boy, Yoroshiku, and I'm out.